Alex recently wrote a very interesting post on sort of describing the differences between Bitcoin and Ethereum. And he discussed how there are sort of more developers and developer activity outside of Bitcoin. Um, I was wondering if you could just comment on that and your perspective from the stock side. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a very interesting article of somebody who got into Bitcoin back in 2013, so pretty, pretty early days, and now has completely kind of like exited Bitcoin, right? And some of the, some of the reasons are, uh, are, are pretty interesting, and I think there should be a more honest debate around you know, some, of the, some of the topics that, that he brought up. And interestingly, I, I would actually agree with a lot of stuff. Right, like this is the reason why we are working on Stacks, right? Like Stacks is the, is almost like a revival of Bitcoin builders culture, uh, which has gone down uh, over the last few years. Like, like I, I definitely think there was more of a builders culture even between 2013 and 2016 or so, and I think since 2017, at least the mainstream Bitcoin narrative has actually became pretty much like, hey, Bitcoin is never going to change anyone who's trying to build, like there's almost like a Bitcoin purity test that you have to go through, right? And, and there's, a, there's a lot of backlash. And, and I, my message to developers is basically going to be that it's, it's pretty well established at this point that there is going to be a part of the Bitcoin community that is only interested in the money aspect, right? Like they, they're, usually they're also not very technical people. And, and at least right now, they're the ones that have like larger followings on Twitter and they kind of like get, get highlighted at conferences and so on, right? But Bitcoin, Bitcoin is free for everybody. Like there is a, you know, uh, Bitcoin developers community as well, where there are people who are like, hey, I wanna, I wanna do interesting things with Bitcoin. I wanna come in and I wanna build new stuff. I wanna build lending protocols. Maybe I wanna build like privacy uh, solutions. Uh, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna make Bitcoin productive. And no one can stop you from doing that, right? And that's also part of the bigger Bitcoin community. And what we can do is like, we can actually try to grow that community and just acknowledge the fact that yes, there is a part of the Bitcoin community. Uh, they're not very technical. They don't really see value in uh, building interesting things around Bitcoin, but we see value in, in, in building interesting things with Bitcoin. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it and let them, because they're not, they're not builders, right? They're, most of them are not technical people. They're just, all they're saying is Bitcoin is interesting as money. We agree with that, right? So we're saying Bitcoin is interesting as money and here are, are like tens of other or hundreds of other interesting things on top of that, right? So it's a little bit like we agree with you and here, here is additional stuff, right? And they can just ignore the additional stuff or be critical of it, but it basically, I think it doesn't even matter. Uh, you can you can just like ignore the noise and, and and just go ahead and build interesting things and the the thing that matters is like how much usage your applications are getting like how many real people are coming in and seeing value in what you're building and if that thing grows and you're getting a lot of traction then the 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 score kind of like just takes care of, of itself. Thank you. And you've said in the past that trust machines would like to support more Bitcoin sort of core developers generally, and that you know there are also Stacks Foundation grants out there that do support developers as well via Brink. Um, I guess what, if any, changes or improvements do you think are top of mind when it comes to um, building up the community at just the Bitcoin core uh, side of things too? Yeah, as I said, that I think there has been already a revival of Bitcoin builders culture. If you just look at, you know, how many new developers came in to the Bitcoin ecosystem just through Stacks last year, right? And already, I think there was an Electric Capital report uh, showing that there are like 120 monthly active developers through Stacks when Bitcoin total has something like 600, right? So you're already making a significant dent on uh, on on, on uh, reviving the Bitcoin uh, developer community and then expanding it. So, so I wouldn't be surprised uh, if you know some of the work that uh, Trust Machine is relatively new in, in the ecosystem, right? So some of the work that we are doing would actually uh, help that more. So Trust Machine is already hiring developers on Lightning. We have open positions for uh, Bitcoin core development because the way we see this is uh, we're building applications through Stacks, but any kind of like work that's needed on the underlying infrastructure. It could be DLCs, it could be Lightning, it could be Bitcoin, like Bitcoin Core. Like we are willing to do that work, right? So um, that's, that, that's, that's kind of like in our business interest, right? Like whatever is needed for our applications to be successful, we're just gonna go ahead and, and do that work. And as a byproduct, 
I think the entire Bitcoin ecosystem is going to benefit from that because most of that code is open source and other people can also use it, uh, uh, like, you know, based on however they want to. Thank you. Well, thanks everyone for tuning into this episode of Stacker Chats. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe for more content like this, and let us know if you have any questions in the comments below or by reaching out on Twitter. And thanks so much, Winnie, for being here. We'll see everyone soon. Thanks a lot.